Hi guys, I hope everybody's doing okay. Here we are in week seven of quarantine and sailing right into May. May has historically been a wild month. Um, this one will probably prove out to be no different. Um, I know that the community is opening up a bit. Um, you guys are finishing up schoolwork and school and classes. Um, this is probably gonna bring about some new norms for you guys. Um, so what I wanna do today is tell you where you can find resources, what resources we're giving you. And um, I wanna make it super simple for you guys to implement and um, show you how easily it is to customize it for your family and your schedules. Um, each week, we send you guys a newsletter. It's called The Path. In The Path, it has a video link. The link is to a Bible story, and it's done in a very professional, um, engaging way that the kids are, they recognize it already, they love it. Um, so it's just a one-click Bible story. We also send you guys a activity guide. The activity guide is the way that you guys can um, reinforce the Bible story and connect it back to, and you do it as a family. Um, it's a super simple activities, things that um, even one of your older elementary kids could even lead. Um, we have video lesson and activity guides, one for preschool and one for elementary. Those are going to be in your PATH newsletter. I also post those in our Facebook page, our Greenville Oaks Children's Ministry page. I post those every Saturday. So you have access to it a little bit early um, and you can print it, go over it, um, but you'll have it for the entire week. You don't have to do the activities on Sunday. You can do them Thursday or Wednesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, you do what is best for your family. Um, every Wednesday, I do a Zoom call with the kids. So I have a two o'clock Zoom, a three o'clock Zoom, and a four o'clock Zoom. Check the Facebook, check your path, and it has your um, schedule for what when your kid's going to be invited to your Zoom. So I would love to be able to connect with the kids. It's really a fun time. Um, I'm able to connect the Bible story that they've just learned. We talk about a memory verse, and then I just get to talk with the kids and get to see their faces. So that's a really special time that I enjoy each week and I look forward to. Um, so those are some of the easy ways that you can implement them. I've heard that some of the parents on Sunday mornings will worship with their kids. And then when it's time for the sermon, they give their kids the video lesson to go and watch so that they're engaging on their own level. Um, just an idea that someone else does. We are asking the kids to do four Collin County projects. Right now we are asking them to do placemats for Christian Care Center um, and dropping them off at the church. That's just one of the things that we've been doing with the kids. Um, I really would like to encourage them to uh, reach out to their teachers, tell them thank you, send a video, send a card, make a, um, you know, chalk their walk. Um, and then next week we will honor seniors. So we'll have a new project for them as well. Um, parents, I want to make this as easy as possible for you. I want you to be able to connect the Bible and the word and God back to your families. Um, I want your kids to understand the connection and I want them to see that with their families and you guys as the leader. I want to make it as easy as possible. And um, if there's anything you need from me or if you have any ideas, I'm always open to that. Love to see, see you guys. Love to hear from you. Um, miss you guys. And uh, let me know if you need anything. We'll talk to you soon.